Building your things for the Internet of Things starts in a familiar place. The traditional steps of software development called Collaborative Lifecycle Management, or CLM. From requirements to design, then coding, building, and testing, the heart of computing will always be the software. But at an ever-increasing rate, those gears turn, so that yesterday's version cycles have been compressed into a constant drumbeat of new releases, deployed in never-ending streams. This is called DevOps, the marriage of development to the operations team who deploys software. And it's a critical capability to keep up with the pace of change. Of course, once that software is deployed, it's important to keep it running fast. And that's an area called Application Performance Management, or APM. It's all the tools and skills we use to monitor, fix, and tune the delivery of software on the web and around the world. Understanding what's happening across all of those elements is key to operational success. And increasingly powerful analytics tools and engines are measuring and helping us improve our efficiency and quality. CLM, DevOps, and APM. That's the engine that makes enterprise IT work today. But what happens when the users of enterprise software aren't users at all? When data flows from devices instead of humans at computers or browsers? When your car, your washer, your toaster are all logging on instead of you? That's the world of the Internet of Things, where millions of devices speak for you, drawing data, services, and reporting problems automatically. That starts with the streams of data coming from the devices, and you need to make sure that the messages are intact, secure, and delivered, even when the device is halfway around the world, or the network's not ideal. That involves the solid software embedded in the device, and solid message handling to get the data where it needs to go. And it goes directly to analytics engines that sift through the data for statistics, trends, problems, and insight. We call that analytics and big data, and it's a big part of the IoT system. What we learn, we can apply immediately to another traditional software development process. This time, the processes we use to create the software embedded in the device itself. This is continuous engineering, or CE. And just like CLM, it's rooted in solid software methodology, but agile and collaborative for the speed of innovation today. And at an ever-increasing rate, that software is deployed to the factory to create new versions of the devices process that must be smooth and error-free. And about that factory, we can apply what we learn from our analytics to the process of making the product and analyze what is happening there to make products that are easier to produce, of higher quality and with more efficiency. That's called Enterprise Asset Management, or EAM. Analyzing data from devices to apply what we learn to the process of designing and producing the product is what we call Enterprise IoT. It's not a science experiment or a toy. It's real business, and it's really changing how the world works. Of course, not one part of this would be possible without sophisticated, secure cloud infrastructure, which connects all the elements of enterprise IoT to traditional enterprise IT systems, to the devices, to our partners, and to each other. Connecting production to engineering, devices to big data, developers to operations, IT to IoT, that's what we do at Cloud One for some of the world's best companies. That's enterprise class IoT, and that's Cloud One, where IoT is made.